Hey yo, what's up everyone? Today we are chilling with the creative director and founder of Dart Photography, Togazani Arthur Zamin. Hey, what's up, bro? Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a bit. Yeah. Last saw you at uh, Romanat and you were shooting there. And I was actually happy to see you there. And um, okay, let's get right into it. How did you come up with the name Dart Photography? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, good one. It's actually a funny story, bro. So, yeah. uh, my full name is actually Zamini Aka Tulazani. And Hotel Felam, Chilin's sister, and Devour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to call me the art. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. Zamini, you know. And then, uh, when I started the company, I was like, shit, what am I going to do? I was like, oh, I've like a few people that call me the art. Which I can translate into digital art. Hey, hey, but like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> digital so, art, okay, okay. Digital okay. art photography, but like in reality, it's that maybe I'm the tool designer photography. Yeah. And then there's a name of the one designer who's the tool designer shooting there, writing there. Writing there. Writing there. In the dark, it's standing for writing there. Yeah, didn't, didn't it get you sour, you know, um, when they said, hey, writing there? Ah, I was enjoying this shit. Oh, okay. You know, like when I started, like it was never like a job because like, I was I was a waiter, you know, I was a barman, yeah, for the longest time, and this was like I'm a high pass senior, and besides, like back then when we were still rapping and stuff, I'd be always taking pictures. Oh, of the chains. Yeah, yeah, okay. Before I'm out there taking pictures. So sure. with your phone, you're on Vana. To slam his tongue, my guys are doing Vana, and I'm a chef photographer, and I didn't know what photography is. Is you know, the other one came to pass me, and pass me. <laughs> ah, it's right. And uh, when did the photography start? Um, I registered the company in 2016, but I didn't do anything that year because it was after like, 2015 when I was in the project. So I was like, okay, I got drunk. Yeah. I remember you telling me, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was like a setback for days. All people money. Even today, I still want a lot of people money. Yeah. Like, crazy, you know? Um, Check out our photography on Instagram and Facebook to see who they're working with and all of that. But rock the shades, when did you start working with them? Yeah. 2014. Yeah. I actually did like their first video that aired um, on what's this channel? Channel? No. Channel. MTV? MTV. Yeah. Yeah, that first ad, that was shit, we actually did that. <laughs> um, Can we go, why do you say it was shit? I mean, Mind the language, yeah. Oh yeah, no, excuse me. <laughs> this is how, this is how I express myself. Yeah, it's, it's all good, it's yeah. all good, yeah. But, um, not like shit, as in like it was, but like it was shit because there was no passion behind it. It was just, uh -huh. like, you know, yeah, you know. Well, I, I actually like, I'm in love with like taking pictures. Mm -hmm. Like freezing moments, you know. Yeah, see something that passes in a second and capture it. Yeah, and then I show it to you. You're like, oh, <laughs> for sure, for shit, sure, you know, sure. like I'm, I'm more connected into that than like videos. But I do like taking videos. But yeah. yeah, I started working at Rock the Shades 2014. And 2015, 16, I did it. Um, and in 2017, the chance called me, like, you're on fire. I'm trying to go Okay, started working with the chance again. Um, and as the years like a coming is the of the shade has been growing, you know. Mm -hmm. I've also like been growing with that process awesome. also. And and yeah, and then they pay me well, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like RTS is actually like providing a lot of jobs, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, like for me a year, the man those guys pay me a year. That's you know, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. And uh what the shade is actually around the corner, right? It's yeah. like, on the sixth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel this. So this week I'm doing fashion week and then on the 6th I'm doing all the shades. And I remember seeing one photo that just struck me. I think even till this day that's the only one I remember from that. Yeah. But obviously the ones before we actually grew up. Yeah. There's a shot, Yaga Nikili. That one was just awesome, you know. And I even remember you capturing uh, the caption was like no one shoots events like Dot photography. <laughs> So yeah, that was awesome. How did that moment feel? You know, what lens were you using? What camera? Tell the people because people are always intrigued into what camera are you using, you see. 
that's the thing, man. And I think most of us have that's why I hold this back. You know, because yeah. we think, because I don't have this kind of camera, I'm not going to be able to take that kind of picture or whatever. And it's not about that, that's the energy, dog. Yeah. The moment you put your energy into the right space, that I'm here to catch a moment and I'm going to kill it and I'm going to take on these images. I don't care what camera I'm using, I don't care what lens I'm using, whatever. But like, I'm going to get proper pictures. Also, and then you're going to get proper pictures. And also, you have to connect with people. Mm-hmm. You know, um, if, if you and I are going to have a vibe, if there's no energy, it's going to be hard for me to take a nice picture of you because that energy is not, you know, the synergies are not right, you know. So you need to make sure that you connect with everyone. So I fall in love with everyone. Like, I have to, like, really the first time. Yeah, for me to catch an action this. Oh, my mom bought it and I saw it like, yo, we are trying. And then I get that, that moment, so, yeah, bro. Uh, awesome, yo, yeah. so it's energy mixed with passion. Energy, though, so like the, 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 the technicalities of the camera, the angles, everything that comes after, but the moment you are able to connect with people, mm-hmm. the timing becomes right, because if you can connect with people, you can feel that something is about to happen, so your timing is always right. Uh, so that's why when you get a picture, you get something that's like, yo, it's not about the angle or what, but like, ooh, okay, yo, okay. that moment, you know? Yeah, and that's, that's the drive, man. And then, um, aside from your uh, setback, yeah. what other challenges have you faced in your journey? Yo. Breaking into the industry uh, and in pay, what you deserve to be paid. People can look at you and be like, oh man, like, your shit is fancy, bro. You shoot for GQ, you yeah, shoot for yeah, yeah. Zine events, you, you shoot for SA Fashion Week, titles, yes, titles, and then they get you, 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 you up yeah, there. Yeah. And sometimes some of those gigs or whatever, it's like that's that's you trying to go in the portfolio. Maybe you're not getting paid for it or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like I've had so many encounters where I'm shooting like big events and I'm not even getting paid for it. But those events, got me to where I am right now, you know, like the relationships I've built. Because another thing, if you're in the event space, like event photography, you have to make sure that every event you find your client to your two. If not yes. one. True. So every event that you shoot, you need to get somewhere. So it's not just about, yeah, you're here, you're going to shoot here, done. Now, this needs to give you some. Like I take every shoot as an opportunity to get a new client. It's beyond now photography. Yeah. You know, it's like business. So, yeah. all right. Yeah. And you know, there's many, many. You know, you name them, all of them. Like SE, SE Fashion Week, GQ. Which one was your, you like your biggest break if you have to say? Yeah. Shit. Quite a few. Quite a few. It's funny actually. Like I don't think I'm there yet. Yeah, well, okay, of course, we should never think we are there yet, yeah. but I mean, working with GQ, that's a, that's a huge honor. It's a big, it is, but right now I feel like I'm not, even with them, I'm in the event space, I want to get into the fashion space. Yeah, 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 of course, man. You know, fashion, fashion. Where, if you, like, because you only see, like, my, my pictures on the, on the event section. Yeah. When you go to the magazine, when you're paging through fashion, oh, okay, that's what I want my, my, I want, I want my name there. Yeah, you know? There are the dots, there are the dots. I want my name there, you know. I get you, I get you. Yeah, that's I'm, big. Like, I'm happy with the process, man. I'm trusting the process. It's not easy, man. It's not fancy as it looks. It's work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I have days where I don't sleep. Like, two days in a row, you know, not sleeping, editing. And my man, when I say one shooting, that's like me, I mean, I mean, I can get 2,000 pictures for an event in less than a week. Yes! <laughs> I thought it was just like pictures in less than a week. I thought it was a matter of copy paste, you know? No, right. Yeah. Yeah. The, see, events, the lighting is different. Studio, I can copy and paste and edit 100 pictures in less than an hour. But yeah. events, you're shooting the side, you're shooting that side, the lighting here is like this, the lighting. So if you, you me, me and zone in, like I can be edited for like six hours or nine hours straight up. Taking photos. That's an editing. You love what you do straight up. And taking, taking pictures is nothing. Like, that's easy. <laughs> Yeah. The editing part, grading the pictures, selecting the right pictures to send to the client, like that's where like work is like okay, sure. Yeah, now I'm working. Taking pictures is like it's mm. I, I'm at the party as well, I'm enjoying it. And hey, most of the time I'm enjoying them the rest of these people, you know. Because yeah. I'm seeing things that they, they're not seeing. Like hey. in a picture I mean, I can 
So you, let's say let's say let's say there's a crowd there, man. Yeah. So so um, and there's like six faces there dancing, man. For you to see it, man, top of the one and more before you see the next one. Now in pictures, I capture the whole thing. Hey, I give you the whole stick view of me, like yo, Robert, I feel that, Robert, I feel that, like, Robert, I feel like, you know? Yeah, it's it's that powerful, man. Cause I used to think that you can only get energy, feelings, and life from videos only. But then you show them pictures. Pictures, my guy. Awesome, awesome. Still, my guy, yo. And uh, so you're gonna be working with uh, Culture Shoot. Tell, tell us about that collaboration. Because uh, that event is also yeah. around the corner. Yeah. So, so, so Colin is my boy. Uh, he came through and like, we did a young collaboration with uh, Vesta. Mm. And he made that from Project of Fame. Like, it was a build up to promote um, the Culture Shoot. Yeah. Never did it. I'm part of the event. I'm gonna be shooting for his as well. I'll call it back because I'm from Cape Town. Like, like, like wait, wait, hold up. You just come from Cape Town, and you went there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wait. Oh, yeah. 